Hello everyone and welcome to BHD Studios. This is my final video where I will be reviewing the ASUS ROG Zephyrus Duo 15 powered by 10th generation Intel Core i7. Now three months ago Intel asked me would I want to test this computer out and I said uh, I'm not a gamer and they said well this laptop isn't just for gamers it is for content creators and those that really are looking for something a little bit different. And with this dual screen design, I thought, you know what? Let's just give it a try. So this is my three month test using this super cool computer. Um, this uh, entire project and this video is sponsored by Intel. So thank you so much Intel for sending this computer out as well as sponsoring this video. So let's start the video and the review now. So the first thing I wanna talk about is user experience. Now this is a premium laptop. It has premium build quality, has premium inputs and outputs, nothing that I've seen on any recent laptop. It has top end specs, but really it's the user experience that gives this laptop the unique advantage over any other laptop because of this dual screen display. And it really does change the way that I use a laptop like this. I uh, have a home setup where I'll be either on a Zoom call or doing OBS live or even the camera girl. Sometimes my wife wants to use it and I could just go into like a corner of uh, one of the bedrooms and be able to have all the IO and using a secondary screen to run OBS or have Zoom in the bottom, having messaging apps all lined up along the bottom. There's nothing like this and be able to use this like a desktop when I'm at home because I have a very tiny desk at the home studio and so I don't have a lot of room to be able to work. So having a laptop like this that has desktop specs but as well as a workstation type setup is really great for someone like myself. And even here in the studio when I set up, I have a lot of space here at my studio desk, but even then having all these IOs. Now I have a Mac and the newer Macs and it has like two USB uh, C connections. And so you need dongles and always having to bring something with you just to connect. I forgot the dongle sometimes and then you just kind of out of luck. You can't connect anything to it where this thing not only has all the connections, but it has extra connections that a lot of the dongles don't have. Have. And so I'm um, having a laptop like this at my studio or even at home makes my productivity that much better. And I even my previous video I showed you how I use the secondary screen and then have the main app running up top and be able to just grab files down here and pull it up or you can go vice versa. That is awesome. And as well, um, I'll show you here my desk setup. All right, so this is my studio setup using the Asus and you can see that it is on a stand and that really helps me uh, use it like a desktop replacement where the angle of the, if I just sit down here, I have a webcam up here. It is the Logitech Brio and uh, it kind of lets me go to eye level. You can even see here, I have OBS running. So you can see right here, it's a, uh, say hello so it is at eye level but also the angle of the uh, screen pad plus is a little bit better when it is up at an angle like this and i do have the logitech g15 tkl so i don't have a numpad but it doesn't matter because right there is a numpad and then of course then i'll use an external mouse this is the mx master 3 and uh, let's just kind of look at some of the IO here. Um, I'm, I do often when I'm at my studio, I do have a external monitor in behind there. And I do have another smaller seven inch monitor that I do use sometimes. And so um, this is kind of where I sit. And uh, in terms of IO, uh, as you saw already, there's three plugs in the back. That's where one of the plugs for the webcam is plugged in as well as you can do the ethernet as well as the HDMI out. And that's what I would use on either one of these uh, two external monitors. And on the right side, I have uh, two of my hard drives plugged in. You can see back there, there's this two Seagate eight terabyte hubs there. I am actually powering this using the USB-C connector here. Now, if you do want the full power of this laptop, you should be plugging in using the regular adapter. But most of the time, if you're doing light work like this, then you definitely run off the USB-C. And uh, one of the th things that often gets missed is the two analog inputs. And so um, when you do video editing, it is recommended that you don't use any wireless Bluetooth because there is a little bit of a lag. And this is, the first one is a headset. 
So both the headphone and microphone. And this is my, my main editing headphones. It is the Porter Pros by Koss. Beautiful, they've been around since like the 1980s. I remember having these in high school. And the other analog input, it's a, it's a microphone input. And again, I do have the Blue Yeti microphone that I often use for my YouTube Live, but sometimes you want an analog input. And so right now I'm using this very unique Comica track shot. It is nice to have uh, two analog inputs, which is often missing on most uh, laptops. They don't give you an analog input other than a headset input. Well, this gives you both a microphone and a headset input, which I really, really enjoy. So this is my basic desk setup here. Obviously, depending on what I'm doing, I'll set it up differently, but um, this is how I use it here in the studio. As you can see, unlike my house, I have a lot of space here. So no matter what I'm doing, video editing, photo editing, Zoom calls, whatever I do, again, I am using this laptop like it is a desktop. So no matter if I'm at home, sitting in the kitchen, doing some light browsing, but needing to do communications or having that secondary screen or from the studio and I'm using up almost all the inputs and outputs including the two analog inputs that I love having uh, this always gets the job done and so having this much power it has two one terabyte SSDs running in RAID 0 32 gigabytes of RAM that is upgradable it has an NVIDIA RTX 2070 GPU in here as well as the Intel Core i7 processor with 8 cores 16 threads and so when I need something with lots of horsepower I can easily switch over to performance mode and it overclocks the processor and I can really push through things that I typically can't do with a regular laptop and then when I just want to do some light browsing I go into silent mode and then just kind of relax and browse and be able to power having that one USB type C Thunderbolt connection is great not only can you power this but as well you can uh, run a display as well as run up to 40 gigabits per second data through this uh, one USB C plus you have three USB A type connections on this laptop as well and so overall my thoughts is this is going to be integrated into my workflow and when you see me on YouTube live when you see me doing any kind of an OBS or zoom calls this is the computer that I'll be using and so thank you so much Intel for sending this laptop out to me thank you so much for letting me review this as well as to be able to keep this and so again this is the Asus ROG Zephyrus Dual 15 powered by 10th generation Intel Core i7 processor and so thank you so much for watching and happy shooting